This is a very leaky drain pipe. It's the drain for two kitchens in a two-family home, and it's leaking not here at the bottom, but somewhere from here to the second floor kitchen. And this is where I discovered the leak. I was in the driveway the other day. This is a building I take care of here in Portland. It's a two family. The kitchens are right here. The sinks are under this first window and the drain pipe runs right between the two windows on the exterior wall. I saw the water leaking out the clapboards. And as you can see, the paint's coming off quite a bit. So we're gonna have to go in. So I can already see wetness right in here. And the pipe is right between these two windows going all the way up to the second floor kitchen. So we're in the, uh, the right area. That's all moist in there. Not good. We're dripping. I hope it's not total carnage in there. We're gonna find out here pretty quick. Yeah, I think this has been going on a lot longer than I had anticipated. We got some silver fish living in here. This is all rotten. And there's just no way to tell. In the basement, the foam insulation was hiding any leak. And out here, until it started coming through the clapboards, you weren't able to tell, and it's not leaking in the house. So, really hard one to detect, but it's obviously, I can see water up there coming higher than that, so. Can't wait to, uh, get the sheathing off here and take a look underneath, see what's going on. I'm trying to be as surgical as possible. This uh, clapboard stuff isn't uh, cheap, so I'm gonna just take off as much as I need and try to preserve the rest. I'll be back with you as soon as I get a few more of these clapboards off and get to the point where I'm cutting into the sheathing and seeing what's going on. Getting ready to cut and I have two lines that are right dead center in the stud. There she be, the pipe in question. It is moist and rusty and uh, just, it's generally disgusting in here. Oh, it's all filled with bugs and just grossness. This, is, this has been a long-term leak, I think. 
and just here's a joint right here and that's where it goes into the basement that is sopping wet well i guess it's good we took this out here that's black mold on the back of drywall ah yeah I think I should go get a few trash barrels here before things get too out of hand. I'm glad we took this out. Made the right call. You never know until you open it up, but there it is, a leaky pipe. I don't know how far up it leaks. We're gonna find that out. Well, there's the crack. We're uh, a little bit off the ground. It's on the second rung here, and unfortunately it goes right up into the second floor apartment. We're gonna have to go inside and dig a hole in the, underneath the sink in the upstairs apartment. All right, we're in the upstairs kitchen. And I've cleared out the cabinet here, and it looks like Mr. Pipe is, yeah, goes in an angle to the back here. So we're going to have to cut all the way over. Are there any dates on these pipes to see when this was done? In other words, who just left that pipe there? Hmm. Nothing that I can see. Okay, all we can do is cut, cut. So yeah, huge mess. Um, got it all cleaned up here. Cracks up high. So this whole pipe needs to be replaced into the basement. And I've got it all exposed, including upstairs, under the sink, in the kitchen. Now there's a vent that goes all the way up, but north of the kitchen on the second floor, the pipe's fine. So I'll just put a coupler for cast iron on that. So we need to get a bunch of elbows and two and a half inch pipe. Just got back from the Home Depot. Got a couple pieces of two inch, ready to rock and roll. And out of all of these parts, we're gonna recreate the kitchen drain system all the way from the second floor kitchen down to the basement. Unfortunately, it being Maine, tomorrow we're getting a two inch rainstorm with winds right out of the southeast. That way's east and that way's south. So it's gonna be blowing right against there. So I'm gonna to have to cover that up with plastic Okay, we got her all sealed up for the big storm tomorrow, big rainstorm, windstorm, you know, the usual here, uh, springtime in Maine. So, should be pretty good. The only thing I could have done differently is uh, use blue tarp. That would have been way more authentic for Maine. There's only one more thing I need to do before I uh, close down until Monday afternoon when the weather's halfway decent or not pouring rain. I'm gonna go down in the basement real quick. So I have this fan set up here into the cavity. And so I'm just gonna turn this on to high and just blast some air up there for the next day and a half or so just to dry that out before we seal it back up again. Well, that does it. We'll be back at it Monday afternoon, which for me is a day and a half away, and for you is in about two seconds.
voila. So, looks like everything stayed dry from the rainstorm. And now we have to get the drains out. I think I'm gonna cut low and go high. Let's see how this goes. You know what? I'm gonna cut it out in the basement first, I think. Or unscrew it, unfasten it. So I've unhooked the ring clamps from the stainless steel. This is where it ties in. Thankfully, PVC the rest of the way to the drain. So there's the bottom of it. Let's go start cutting. She's free. Man, I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. Let's, uh, guess we disconnect it from the first floor kitchen first. All right, this rubber's been on here for a hot minute. Although, oh, we're free. Okay. We just gotta free it from the first floor. She's good and loose now, so it doesn't just collapse out onto the driveway. I'm just going to put up a little board here to catch it. There we go. That'll keep it up. Because the only thing holding it in is the uh, kitchen drain downstairs. She's free from the first floor kitchen sink. So now we got to see. I have to come up and there's this wire here. I might need to make another cut to this frickin' pipe, which will suck, but let's see if we can get it out without making a cut. Either I make another cut or I do electrical work and uh, I don't want to do all the trades on this gig so we'll cut it. I think I need the power electricity boys. Battery power tools are all fun and games until you need to uh, really get in there. So let's see if this guy does any better with that. If I can get in in there. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, she was pretty clogged, too, so that's, uh, that doesn't help matters. Look at that deliciousness. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, I may own that is pretty solid. So that's probably why she cracked up. She's coming out now, boys, I promise. There it goes. Hello, nineteen eighteen pipe. You've done your duty. Take a look at look at look how clogged it is right there. She was ready. Okay. Now we go upstairs. Get that little piece up there. So here's the pipe right here, and I got to cut it here so that I, it continues up through the roof for a vent. So I got to cut it here and. This might just have to be, a, I don't know if we're going to get this out, but I am going to disconnect the dishwasher here so I have a little bit more room. I don't want to screw this thing up. 
Okay. Put it up here for now. Out of the way. And I'm just going to take this thing off so that I don't ruin it. Okay. All right, we're through. The vent's loose and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall down, so I don't need to brace it. I was thinking I was going to have to brace that, but she's loose, wiggling around up in the roof. And this is loose. I just got to disconnect it from here. I think I'm going to cut right. You can cut right here. That gives me enough of a lip on the pipe to reconnect. Maybe I'll cut a little bit lower. I'm going to cut lower on that pipe and get it out. I'll be back after I'm done cutting. Well, let's take a look here. I've got the uh, got the sink disconnected from there. The vent is disconnected from the drain pipe, and that is loose and wiggly in there, but there's too much down below to pull it up through. So I would either have to cut it right here and here and let it drop, or cut below and try to pull it up. It might be that this ends up being a ghost pipe and I just shove it to the side if it doesn't come up through here, because uh, it's tight. So I'll go outside and I'll cut it flush with the top of the beam for the second floor, and then try to pull it out from up here. Whew. Oh yeah. There she is, boys. The old cast iron pipe. Can take a look at the uh, advanced cracking here. It's split all the way down. Is there a date on this pipe? Oh. So, this house was built in 1918. So, my guess would be... That was the year of the pipe. We're ready to construct a new thing. Out of all these pieces and parts, yay! Let's build a new drain. First, I'm gonna put in this connection to the vent here. Just put that on there loosely. Do this piece here. No, that's too long. seven and three quarters. Okay, this should fit right in here. In theory, there we go. And then that fits down over. There we go. So that's what the, uh, Second floor of drain looks like anyway. I'm gonna come back and cement it all together, but I like to get the whole system together first before I uh, go final. Let's make sure we can see it up there. I don't know if you can, but it's up there and it's a direct shot. So the pipe will come down and here's where it goes into the first floor. Right in there, with that icky in the drain there. So I'll bring in a bucket before I uh, redo that. So we'll need a inch and a half to two inch coupler. And we'll come down and uh, out. So I've uh, put together this Lego set. 
pipes. It's loosely fitted right now. So I have this up just a little bit from where it needs to sit down here. And I'm gonna start cementing it together going top down because the most wiggle room I'll have is the pipe that's right in the basement there, dangling. That's where the wiggle room is on this. And there's a little on this sink. The uh, sink in the kitchen upstairs, no wiggle room. That needs to be absolutely precise. So I'll take this little uh, handy pack of primer and cement, and we'll get to gluing. Here's the pipe. cement. Oh, yeah. oh, we'll get it all on there. Uh, yeah. Put some on this. Yeah. And we'll put them together. Well, didn't say it was going to be pretty. So I'm just going to mark these to make sure I don't miss a line. need some room to play up and down but that's the last part up here second floor drain done let's take a look so I've we got it all the way up to the second floor and we've got a shot into the basement there and I have it connected you can't really see in the kitchen on the first floor. So now I got to put that together. I'm going to put that together. Then I'll secure this joint, these joints, and I have to go to the hardware store because I'm, I need one more elbow. Make our marks. This to this. All right, now we can take it all apart and put it back together.
And I'll be making a new floor for this cabinet because it was pretty bad already, but now it's beyond repair. Well, we got, we're all the way from the second floor. We got the first floor connected. Now we got to go down into the basement with it. Let's get her into the basement, shall we? Talk to old timers like you don't need primer, but you know they sell it in a kit, so it's freaking well. Oh, oh, my right hand is done. She's done. Okay, let's go connect that vent. Now we should be able to test some drains. Okay, there's that. And then this will slip right down. In theory. She's tight. Let's hook up the uh, dishwasher here. Does this have rubber gaskets in it or do I need plumber's tape? It does. Oh. Let's take our dishwasher and hook it back up. The drain system is complete. I'm just going to put the house back together here. Okay. Does that leak? Nope. Turn the water back on. We'll see how we're doing here. All right, let's go uh, see if we're leaking anywhere. Get the water going. Seems okay. Yeah. I think we're in good shape up here. Let's go take a look outside. Let's take a look. Oh, 
Well, you know what? It's not leaking, but I uh, didn't glue that joint together. <laughs> But yeah, all right, let's just, I'm going to shut the water off upstairs because obviously I have to glue that joint. Well, oh, there's water in there. <laughs> and this, this will be the final joint that needs it. Go. Hello. Coming through. Coming in, Jeff. Okay. I think we're. Uh, I think we're good. We're gonna test this now. Okay. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Let me put my raincoat on." <laughs> Yeah, we're good. No leaky leaky. Okay. Holy moly. We got a kitchen drain system. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, you guys can use your kitchen sink again. I know. It's like it's like we live in the 21st century. Well, kids, all tested, all good to go. The new drain for this two-unit building, plumbing. Not my idea of a good time, but a time nonetheless. So let's uh, let's put this house back together. All right, back outside. Kitchens are all cleaned up. Everything's draining. Now we're gonna put the house back together. Start with this piece at the bottom, work our way up. I've stuffed some insulation where there previously was none up into the cavities as far as, as, far up as I could reach, which wasn't very far, but just to keep it uh, insulated down here. And I've got insulation ready to rock for up here. So, just gonna cut a little slot out for the spigot, put this board up, work our way up, seal it up, tar paper it up, and that'll do it for today. We'll Let's make sure we don't zap
So as you can see down here, we're not flush. And so if I just put clapboards over this, they would sink down in here. So I'm gonna take this quarter inch piece, scrap that I've had, and just boom, just like a that. And then we're flush. So I'll staple that in. seals it up so that's it i think i might end it here and get back to you next time for the uh, finished process because believe it or not that's what's going to take longest out of this whole project that started with a cracked pipe so i'm going to leave it off here and I thank you for joining me. Whew, that was a day. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you on the next one where I clapboard the hell out of this house. Mm -hmm.